I'm Weird Paul, and these are my 100 favorite songs of the 1980s. Whip It is a new wave song by the band Devo, and it was released as a single on August 13, 1980. It had been written by Devo members Mark Mothersbaugh and Jerry Casale in 1979 as a tongue-in-cheek anthem for then-president Jimmy Carter. The song utilizes almost all electronic instruments, heavily relying on Moog synthesizers. The main riff in the song is based on the riff in Roy Orbison's song, Oh Pretty Woman. Listen carefully and it's obvious. The song reached number 14 on the Billboard Top 40 music charts, but the band said they had no idea it would become a hit. The first time that I became aware of the song Whip It was while watching the 1985 Grammy Awards. We're all Devo. Devo. Devo's VHS release, We're All Devo, had been nominated for Best Music Video. The Whip It music video was directed by Jerry Casale and cost $15,000 to make. It was a controversial music video at the time, with all that whipping going on. They didn't win the Grammy. They lost to the making of Michael Jackson's Thriller. But hearing that little piece of the song on the Grammy Awards that night quickly made me obsessed. I remember that I needed to get that song, and as soon as possible. I had to wait until the weekend so that my dad could drive me to the record store. And there, I purchased the Whip It 45 RPM record for $2. It was March 2nd, 1985. One of the first things I did after getting home was to make my own music video for the song wearing a red butter container. Hi, this is Drano, and this is Whip It. I had attached the butter container to my head with masking tape. And you could see me ripping it out of my hair in the video. I listened to that record over and over and over again that day. And that night, my mom told me that she had heard me talking in my sleep. It turns out that I was repeating the chorus of Whip It in my dreams. Almost one year later, on January 17, 1986, the USA Network program Night Flight aired a special called Take Off to Devo. In 1980, Devo made their most perverse and vicious satire of American kitsch, Whip It. I didn't have cable TV, but my friend Bob did and he taped it for me, and I finally got to see the whole video. The 30-year-old videotape is not in good shape. I'll see you soon with another one of my 100 favorite songs of the 1980s.